Greetings, world. I am a Richard, coming to you today, August 6th, with a special reading video on free energy. So first, a little bit of feel good. Feel good to the world. So, free energy. Um, I would like to know if... Uh, I do believe that free energy was actually a thing, uh, probably going back to the 1800 with the hidden history, hidden technology of Great Tantaria, which, you know, apparently would have been uh, erased with a great mud flood. But this technology would explain a lot of the historical monuments that we have, similar to the great old churches throughout Russia and Europe and many of the Americas. I mean, they were just fascinating and beautiful in so much detail. And they all have these beautiful uh, spiky antennas reaching out to the sky, to the ether where there's electricity, right? And that would explain much, if not all, of Nikola Tesla's uh, technology and research and, well, everything that was finally stolen from him and then transmuted into a different way so that we'd have to pay for electricity instead of free energy, right? So, you know, I'm not going to get too far into that because then I'm never going to shut up. You know me, when I start on a subject, I lose myself. So, without further ado, let's ask the universe, higher self, over soul, and universe, is free energy an actual thing? Is free energy real? Let's see, let's cut, let's rock and roll. All right, so first we have, so that would be a yes, guys, with uh, the Queen of Wands. She is the Witch of the Tarot. She's very spiritual, a lot of integrity, and she's a fire element. So electricity is fire, right? I mean, it's fire, it's water, it's electricity, it's lightning. So that is a yes card. And then we have the, um, the um, not the Temperance, but... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I, I can't remember her name and I can't read. Uh, the high priestess, of course she's the high priestess. So, you know, the high priestess, she talks about duality and secrets, right? So, yes, free energy is a thing. It's been hidden from us. This is very secretive, the high priestess. And then, finally, we have uh, the high rough font. So in a question like this, where I'm asking about free energy, because this is not a religious card, it's not a zodiac sign, and it's not a lover's card, this would represent to me as a reader uh, the deep, dark cabal, the Khazarian Mafia, uh, the Masonry, uh, Rothschild, Blip, Blap, Blue, all the... All people of that nature, or things, I, should, I don't want to call them people, things of that nature. And why do I say this? Is because they're actually the ones who have suppressed free energy from us. What we had in the 1800, what Nikola Tesla was proving, they, no, they took that away and transmuted it in a way that we'd have to pay for it, to be enslaved by it. So that is a yes, guys. Okay, so in recap... Yes, free energy is a thing that's been suppressed and hidden from us by these culprits. All right, so moving on, I'm going to take my regular deck here and let's go to a follow up. Higher self, over soul in universe. Ah, will we see in our lifetime? So now moving on, will humanity be seeing? the birth of free energy once again. What do I mean by that is will we get free energy and not have to pay for energy anymore? That's the question I'm asking. So will we see free energy once again in our now lifetime? Let's see, let's cut, let's rock and roll. 
So that's a generosity card, guys. So that is looking like a yes, giving back. This is not about breadcrumbing. This is actually helping those in need here for this kind of a question. Uh, yes, fear of the unknown, because we're at a cross point right now, blinded. And look, the swords are pointed to the air, metal to uh, the ether. We got the water in the back. We're talking about free electricity, and that resembles a bit like uh, the high priestess at the center of the other one, hidden knowledge. This could also be it, a blinded hidden about such things. And finally, we have yes. Okay, so that's a moving in. That is a yes card. Um, uh, uh, pages are youthful and they're probably not the fastest moving card. So I'm not going to say that this is going to be happening in the days or weeks to come. Probably like later on, this could, in this kind of question, maybe within the year to come. And why I say year is just because it's slow moving, it's youthful, it's something that's coming back, right? We got the pentacles here. So it's an offering, offering of something tangible, right? About a being at this cross point, blinded. So yes, we're going to see free energy again. Um, now let's see. Um, okay, so am I accurate? Like when? Okay, let's just ask that. When will we be seeing... Uh, the disclosure and the offering of free energy to humanity. So it's always hard to predict timing, but give me a you know ball game or ball room or a rough figure, let's just say, of when uh, can humanity like be expecting to get such great news as free electricity. All right, no, they're telling me to just go directly. Okay, so the emperor, so that is creator. That is a major arcana. Yeah, it could be right. It looks like a year. Yes, okay, there's a lot of confusion right now. So there are probably things that have to come down first. Many, many confusing things that are in our now life reality, society, uh, subjects, subjects that are confusing us very much. They're switching and turning around all the time. So there are things that have to come down first. And yes, there's my one year. So yeah, here to a year. So I get a year with the Emperor and with um, the Ace of Wands. Wands are past the 10, so it's like an alpha card. It's 11 or 1, a rebirth if you want. And it's talking about fire elements, right? But first... Again, you know, every center card has been like secret secrets about being a standpoint and now about confusion. So, yes, there are things that have to come down first. I'm not too sure what they would be. But, you know, if you look into uh, what's going on in the news, whatever news outlet you look, things are indeed very confusing. I mean, you look throughout the Olympics, you look throughout the voting systems, the elections, I mean, fights, war, riots. I mean, we're in the moment right now, but these things have got to be cleared up. But it is sponsored by the Creator, and we're getting a grant, a yes. So that's looking very good. Yeah, and that one was uh, just slipped out. So because uh, the world is going to turn in our favor. So free energy in favor of humanity. Things have lived itself out, right? So when the Wheel of Fortune comes, there's similarities to the world card. Uh, they're both also major arcana. So that is like up to a year from now. But when the wheel comes, it's in favor of. So the question is, will we have free energy? Will we see it? in our lifetime, and when? So that's yes, we will. Things are turning into humanity's favor. We're going to get free energy and up to a year. All right, so we asked that. Um, what else could I ask? Let's ask. Um, okay, so if we're going to have free energy, it, it exists. It was a thing. It still exists. We'll be getting it up to a year. So that would lead me to believe, as I've been saying for quite a time now, and all like um, 
light warrior tarot readers that read onto the the world stage are saying that it is the end of the deep dark Khazarian mafia cabal. So let's just go and ask once again. So since uh, higher self, over soul and universe, since free energy is a thing and coming to us within the next year, is it because that the white hats have won, the deep dark Khazarian mafia, Masonic monsters have been like ended, rounded up, their time is finished. Is this what that means? Because the good guys have and are winning as we speak. Let's see. Let's cut. Let's rock and roll. These two slipped out. That is a yes. Again, grants of the universe, emotional grant, an ace, an alpha card. So that is a yes. And look at all the visuals here, right? Like liberty, freedom, peace coming into the water. The water is providing never, um, it's never empty. It's always um, ro uh, circulating and coming from the sky. So energy from the ether, electricity, touching the water. The water's providing. We have serenity. I mean, just this card alone is great. And that is yes. But then this one also popped out. So the page of um, wands, high hopes, new, uh, di new directions, new adventures. Um, it is slower moving, but it's a very fiery element. And uh, let's pick another one here because yes, there's healing, much healing. So yes, guys, it is because of that, because of the white hats have um, one, it's a yes. I think it's still ongoing. So my question was, have they won and or are they still working on it? So it's yes, they've won, but they're still working on it. But because this one is um, a page, right? It's a youthful card. So it is about high hopes and all that. But revising my question, I think that basically what they're, they're almost at an end of clearing up whatever minion rats are running around, broken systems, like the majority has already been done. I mean, a rebalancement, a healing, a major arcana, the universe, or the alliance, the age of Aquarius, a beautiful newfound vulnerability, healing. So yes. That's a yes, but there's still, it's not completely done. But a card like this uh, is not a serious card. I would say that the majority has been done. It's a long process. Like they probably have not been doing this just for the last few years. It's probably been going on for quite a long time. Uh, but let's see, like how long has this battle between uh, the Khazarian Mafia and the White Hats. So Black Hats and White Hats. Sh show me in the cards, how long has this battle been going on to who wins over humanity's outcome? How long has this battle been going on? And I want to know about like, you know, boots on the ground, like humanity, right? Like not off-world energy, but here, like amongst humanity, how long has that war been going on? Let's see. Okay, so we got a two here, two of pentacles. We have a 10, 10, and this is also a surrendering card. And we got the empress, the empress. So how long has this been going on? Um, mm, it's hard for me to say exactly how long it's been going on. It's been going on for a very long time. But what I am though getting is that, you know, the battle between the two sides has come to an end and it's the rebirth of like uh, humanity, nature, Gaia, Mother Earth. So that's really hard to say for how long it's been going on. I mean, like uh, the Empress is like uh, uh, also an alpha divine feminine creator card. She's been around forever. I mean, Gaia has been there forever. It's come to an end. 
ends could be like a millennia come to an end or a world's come to an end for the rebirth of a new one. So the death of the silver era for the birth of the golden era. So you know what? It's been from the beginning of times is what I'm going to say. So I can't say like a hundred years or because I don't know what time really is. We've been lied to, suppressed on what real history is. So being that I'm seeing uh, the Empress here, I'm going to relate to her as Gayar planet, planet ship, however you want to look at it. And it's been there pretty much since the beginning of time, but it's come to an end. This battle between the two juggling us, juggling humanity. Huh. Very, very, very impressive. I love this. Because the outcomes are all good and however, whatever question I have asked today. So I'm going to ask my golden major arcanas uh, for a word of advice regarding, you know, everything I've discussed with you today regarding free energy and the battle, you know, around it, for it. Uh, give us a last farewell word of advice. All right, and we're going to go right here. Yeah, it's the death of a system for the rebirth of another one. So bright new hope. Something has to collapse with this in order to rebirth. The end of uh, the old energy on with the new free energy system. The end of who suppressed us with the old energy electricity energy it's come to an end that they are done they will not be charging us a fortune for something that is free new beginnings a new earth well there you go guys i loved this reading so great things to look forward to but we're gonna have to see um things fall before we get there so we're probably gonna start seeing within the next year okay more talk more things coming out on it, but it is definitely a thing that we can look forward to. But in the now moment, throughout all the chaos that we're seeing, these things have got to fall. And I believe a lot of them are just there in order to help awaken a lot of said uh, normies or sleepers. We got to help them, right? Snap out of uh, disillusion. Uh, you know, it's time to be like that movie they live and put the glasses on to see what is truly in front of us. You know, they got some catching up to do, but we will be there to help them, encourage them and answer to their questions. There is no room for fuck you. You should have listened. You're on your own. It's no longer time either to try to wake people up. You know, everyone's made the decision but once they do have the root awakening, it's going to crash down fast on them. So no room for, well, I'm right, you're wrong, you should have listened. We're going to have to grab them by the hand and help this. Help this, help them. This is humanity evolving. So we have to go with the heart. So I love you all very much. I hope you like my reading and I will catch you all on the next one. Be great, be kind, be great to yourself. And I love you all very much. Rock and roll. Ow! Cheers. <laughs>